What's up everybody? I'm Justin Muncy and today I thought we would do something a little bit different and take a look at the production process I did to create my song Comet. So many of you guys have been messaging me and telling me that you've really enjoyed the song and that's meant the world to me because this is my favorite song I've ever done. Definitely on the production side specifically. I've always wanted to do a ghost story song, something ambient and moody, you know, all the stuff that us emo kids or former emo kids love. So yeah, let's take a closer look at it and uh, rock and roll. All right, so I think one of the cooler things in this song is Guitar World. And it's cool to me because I was pretty simplistic in what I decided to do guitar-wise, which is not like me. I like to do lots and lots of guitar, but this song needed, needed to have some space. So let's take a look at what's going on the guitar. There's two main hooks simultaneously. They are panned opposite ways. And it goes a little bit like this. So yeah, as you can hear, one of them is doing that piano line that kind of goes throughout the entire song. And the other one is a harmony line, both super verby, clean. I use the Gretsch, the Strymons, and my MX-11. There's a new guitar part that comes in on the second verse, something kind of like the 1975. I chopped it up pretty close because I thought it sounded interesting um, to have that da 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 against everything else since it was so reverby. Uh, it's nice to have that separate texture. It goes like this. So yeah, two guitars, harmonized, Tight, tight reverb, no delay. I don't think that's an overdrive either. I think that's just the amp. Once again, the Gretsch. Pulled out the Les Paul for a big lead line. It echoes what is going on with the string section, which is, is kind of quiet. So if you missed it, you missed it. This is what it sounds like. <laughs> Another thing I think is really cool in this song is the arpeggiated piano that happens on verse 2. So what I, I did was I actually took the same file of the piano line and I just kept the top without, without any bottom notes or anything like that and I added a dotted eighth delay to it and some reverb and I, I just really affected it. I widened it, I did a cool EQ to pull out a lot of the bottom and You'll, you'll hear it from the second verse on, and it really keeps the, the song pushing forward. Here it is. Very cold play. Another really pretty thing in this song is the toy piano lines that come. I use two different sounds. I think I found both of these in Omnisphere, and I probably just tweaked them a little bit uh, from the preset. I added delay and reverb just to make it haunting. Everything in this song is meant to be uh, spooky and to really... Uh, symbolize that feeling of loss and mystery that is space and love and life. There are tons of pads and things going on in this song. That's not really all that exciting. But you know, it, it actually might be kind of cool to hear all these things at once, just so you can hear synth land. And we'll go to the last chorus because that's where it's like, guns a blazing, baby, all bets are off. Here it is. I think uh, another thing that's pretty cool in the drum world is I layered a bunch of different sounds. So I have a snare that I added a double delay to and I filtered it off and added a dark reverb. I have some other percussion sounds and like sounds like foot stomps almost um, and that happens on the second verse. It sounds like this. Yeah, 
Drumland is is pretty straightforward. I think the coolest thing about Drumland is just all the different hi hat patterns. Uh, I I was really inspired by the Coldplay song "Always in My Head," and I don't know if that's is that what it's called. I think that's what it's called. But anyway, that song had some cool dual hi hat things going on. This one has three at most moments. Let's just go to the bridge. I think that's when there's the most drums going, but there's tons of layers, lots of claps, different snares, and uh, different kind of kicks. So use kicks to emphasize the top end and other kicks to have that really subby low end to kind of give you that heartbeat feeling um, to match the song. Here's the bridge. Yeah, in vocal land, I did what I usually do, which is lots of different layers. So yeah, I think the only other like really cool thing or thing that I was super excited about that happens in this song is the robot voice. I was playing with the Isotope vocal synth plugin, and I just kind of boost it as it goes on. There is a really low one on the verse. It is quiet, though, so you may not notice it. Let me, let me see if I solo it. It's real low. It's like an octave down. Yeah, really weird, but something about it made it feel more like outer space to me. Um, and then I did, I did the opposite for the final chorus, where I went the octave up from where it is. So it's real high pitch. It's kind of that DJ vocal sound almost, but mo not melodic, but not chopped up. Here it is. It's all over. It's all over. It's all I have left to you. It's yeah, um, and that's gonna kind of wrap up some of the, some of the cool stuff. There, there's a ton of stuff in this song. Uh, the more you listen to it, if you listen on good speakers, I think you'll hear. Not everything is meant for you to hear. I mean, there's a lot of stuff I just did for me that's in there and is kind of spooky and weird. But hey, since some of you guys are saying you wanted to make your own music, hopefully this is good inspiration for you and gives you some ideas and that you can take from, learn from, and improve upon. Well, that's gonna wrap up. Comment, thanks so much for checking out this video. If you made it all the way to the end, you deserve a gold star, because this is definitely a long one. Hopefully it was kind of interesting to you. You got some new ideas for how you can work on your own songs. If you would like to work with me, whether for session work, production work, you can get in touch with me at my website, justinmuncie.com. You can DM me on Instagram, at Justin Muncy. Uh, hit the subscribe, you can hit the like, keep up with me. Let me know if you have any questions, and until next time, keep rocking. Bye, Felicia's.